Go for it. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Tony Torrance. Today we're going to tie a purple rooster. Um, interesting pattern and works really well. It's uh, more of a, a nondescript parachute fly. It's got a little purple in it, which seems to be the rage. Uh, enjoy this fly pattern and I hope it brings you a lot of rises. So now we're going to tie a purple rooster variant and uh, the only variation is we're, instead of using McFly lawn for the or a poly yarn for the post um, I'm going to use some of the new parapost from hairline so so the purple purple rooster tail is um, pheasant tail fibers and um, about as long as the the body get those tied in there and I do I have to be honest I do tie these with uh, moose hair for the tail as well um, they both catch fish I think the moose hair is probably a little more durable but um, we're gonna try to stick as close to the pattern as we can I have two strips of the para post I'm gonna lay those on top get them right where I want them Snug them down in place, put a couple more good strong wraps, and then wrap in the front, wrap in the back, and start working your way up your posts to secure it. I make a wrap and then I kind of pull and tug to get that thread to seat in there and bind those materials together. And sometimes the thread will slip off. You can wax your thread for a little better grip. And some guys will even put some super glue on this post. I sometimes I do it, but it does. It makes it super stiff and it's not going to move, but with that stiffness, um, the fly can tumble a little bit, I think. So I'm going to work my way back and do this body. First we're going to tie in a little bit of small copper wire and then the tips of the ring neck I'll come down and snip those off to align them when I tie them in. And just come back to the base of your tail. And then wrap your ring neck fibers forward while trying to keep everything else out of the way I guess I could have tied the body and then put this in but probably would have been the smarter way of doing it but I've never been accused of that before so we'll just tie this off Clean it up a little bit with some more wraps. And I'm going to counter wrap the copper over this just to keep this material from getting torn up by the trout's teeth. Okay. And then I'll just helicopter that off. Gotten a few fibers here that are getting in the way, so let me just clean up here for a second. Next, I've got my hackles ready, one laying on top of the other. I will tie these in so that I can wrap a couple wraps to secure, and then I will come up the stem with the hackles. or up the post with the hackles and their stems and I will secure them right along the post. Come back down. And then the thorax on this fly is um, some UV purple eye stub. Just put a light amount on there. A little goes a long way. 
The nice thing about the eye stub is you can actually I'm going to start at the front here. Um, you can pick it off pretty easily if you've gotten too much on your thread. I came up just a little bit shy, so I'm going to have to put a little more on. So now I've got that done. I'm just going to take my hackle and just start working my way down. Keep my thread down low position, hang it off that side, and then I'm going to turn this so I can work on it. I'm just going to trim my hackle out of here and then come around and start wrapping the base. I'll put three or four wraps, and then I'll put two or three whip finishes on top of that, and that'll be rock steady. Turn this back. So I'll stroke those fibers up, figure out the length I want, trim those. There's a uh, purple rooster variant, a great fly for any time of the year here on the Mackenzie Rolamet. Um, and this is a size 12. Thanks for watching.